not even a year after six people were shot and killed inside the Covenant School, and there are already plans for students and staff to go back to class there in January. Our Marissa Sulik spoke with parents who say not everyone is on board. While the red ribbons tied to mailboxes are still hanging on. It's a, a bit of a mixed bag of emotions. So are Covenant School parents like Mary Joyce. Going back in on campus is going to feel heavy. And but we're also really we want to do it together. We want to get back home to our school. Her fourth grade daughter Monroe was inside the Covenant School when three students in her grade were shot and killed. Monroe is nervous, but she also wants to get back to her school. Students started the school year at Brentwood Hills Church of Christ. After seven months in a different place, Joyce says Monroe wants to be somewhere she remembers. I know they're reworking areas, which um, brings a bit of relief to us because that was the scariest part. Right now, construction crews are working on a $2.8 million renovation to transform some parts of the school, a job Joyce knows isn't easy. Yeah, that was a site of where six people were murdered. So how do you, how do you create a place that you can go and like create happy memories together again on a place where someone was murdered and where other kids were running for their lives. In the meantime, she says she's preparing Monroe by answering any questions she asks. But she knows not all parents may be ready to drive back up this hill. It is going to be a very different experience for a lot of parents. And I do want to emphasize that January is also when general session starts for lawmakers at the Capitol. Joyce tells us that she'll be there every day along with other parents in Nashville. Marissa Sulek, WSMV4.